Hello everyone! The IELTS reading test includes unusual and difficult task types that are not typically found in other reading exams, such as true-false not given, sentence completion, and matching headings to paragraphs, amongst others. In today's video, we will be looking at the matching headings type, and I will introduce you to three strategies in order to nail these questions. To get all correct headings, you need to be sure you understand the focus of the heading and the point of the entire paragraph. Here are three lessons. Lesson 1. The heading is really a summary. Some paragraphs will cover a few separate but related points. The heading needs to summarize the whole paragraph, not just a part of it. Lesson number two, look at every word in the heading. If even one of them does not accurately reflect the meaning of the paragraph, then this heading is probably wrong. Lesson number three, watch out for distractors. This question type is a good example of how the examiner can try and mislead you by including words or phrases from the passage in the wrong heading and missing them out entirely from the correct option. For example, let's look at this paragraph from the Road to IELTS Preparation course, then choose the most suitable heading below, along with, do along with dodgy food, cramped seating, and screaming infants. Turbulence is one of the banes of modern air travel. Avoiding turbulence is a somewhat haphazard business. Pilots do their best to fly around storms and to steer clear of turbulent areas reported by aircraft further along the route. But a series of experiments that has just finished in Colorado could eliminate some of the guesswork by enabling airlines' existing radar systems to pick up signs of the most common kind of turbulence, called convective turbulence, with just a simple software upgrade. Option A how convective turbulence could be identified. Option B, a potentially dangerous phenomenon. Option C, current methods and new research. Now, note down your answer A, B, or C. Okay, let's look at the three options below one by one. Option A, how convective turbulence could be identified. At first sight, this option is attractive. The words convective turbulence appear in the paragraph, as does the word could. Moreover, the paragraph does identify a new method for identifying convective turbulence. However, this is only in the second half of the paragraph, and you need to make sure that the heading summarizes the whole paragraph. So this option is not correct. Option B, a potentially dangerous phenomenon. The keyword in this heading is potentially, which means that the danger does not exist now. But convective turbulence is not a potential danger. It is a current danger. This option is therefore not correct either. Option C, current methods and new research. You will not find any of the words in this heading in the paragraph. But this does not mean that it is incorrect. Examine the two topics in the heading. Does the paragraph cover current methods? Yes, it talks about how pilots report turbulence to each other. Does the paragraph cover new research? Yes, it talks about a series of experiments in Colorado. Note that a series of experiments means the same as research. Option C is therefore the correct answer because it summarizes the whole paragraph accurately. I hope this video has shown you just how tricky some of these unfamiliar IELTS question, question types, types can be, be. and what you must, must bear in mind in order, in order to, to surpass, surpass them. them. Please, Please like, like Share, Share and, and subscribe to IELTS, IELTS Language YouTube, YouTube to, to watch, watch more, more insightful, insightful videos, videos from us, us in, in the future. future. Goodbye, Goodbye for now. For now.